My name is Paul Nini, and I am a professor here in the Department of Design, and specifically I teach in the undergraduate visual communication design major, and my area of practice is visual communication design, and I've been doing that for 35 years or so. The projects that I have in the uh, uh, design faculty show all sort of go around this idea of design as a... Um, means to kind of provoke a little bit and to kind of take an activist role. There's a series of t-shirts about uh, well-known modernist graphic designers um, that came about because we have uh, one of our alumni uh, who started a company called Screen, and it's an on-demand t-shirt company that's been going for several years. And when he got started, he kind of asked uh, people to do things for it. Um, so I created a series of 40-some uh, t-shirts that are sort of distillations of well-known uh, sort of modernist graphic designers. So it's kind of a quotation of their work, if you will, either the style or the approach that they have um, distilled down into a t-shirt. There's a series of posters. Um, this series of posters was created um, for Pinch Flat, which is a, a local event that happens every year to raise money for um, biking organizations here in town. There's two very large flags that are in the uh, exhibit. Uh, those are proposals, two variations of a proposal for a City of Columbus flag. And the reason that came about is I was at a conference where I saw a presentation on flag design, and the presenter said, go back and look at your city and see if they have a flag. Well, we do. City of Columbus has one. It's pretty dreadful, and we could use a better one. So, um, so again, that's sort of that activist role of saying, okay, what could exist and, and that's what design is about is like looking at possibilities and and bringing things forward that you know maybe don't exist that could exist in some way and then the last thing is um, a series of uh, little 45 seven inch records uh, I've been a musician for over 35 years as well and been in a lot of uh, bands that have written and recorded music and all that sort of thing uh, so it's just a sampling of some of that and as opposed to just making it something that you could listen to on a computer or something like that, uh, we found a place that actually uh, will produce just five copies of a vinyl record. Um, so we had them do that for us. And there's, I think, six different records there uh, with sleeve designs, and then you can pull it out and put it on the turntable and listen to it on the headphones. That's all my stuff that's in the exhibit, and I hope people enjoy it.